All right, guys, we got a prep table that's not cooling right. Let's go take a look, see what we got going on. All right, so it's in a busy location. Luckily, they're not busy yet. Let's see what's going on here. Oh, I love it when they get it all emptied out for me. Use some new seals, that's for sure. Boy, that's not looking good. Those are violations. Definitely got to get those replaced. Of course, I don't think rust is allowed either. They do at least keep a little filter grill in this thing. Oh, yeah. Hi there. You come here often? Holy crap. So if one don't do it, put another one behind it? What the heck? That is horrible. It's keeping it clean though. Good grief. Poor little guy. That's a hard life. Okay, let's take a look at the back side here. Let's see if it's been molested yet. thing in there. Drain pan. It's got water in it so we know it's been at least de, uh, defrosting. I do not see any suction taps on it. So let's, let's see if we've got it unplugged or what's going on here. Okay, comes up over this Oh, I'm not supposed to do this, but they did at least use a thick extension cord. Yeah, it is plugged in. Did they turn the thermostat off? Let's look. The thing's running. So maybe it's just a matter of it not working, like really not working. It's calling, but it's cranked all the way. Obviously, that ain't doing so good. your meter but it definitely keep you or at least help keep you from getting shocked versus not using anything at all it's better than nothing still use your common safety practices so let's continue digging on here I would say we need to pull the thermostat out and take a look in there it appears that uh, that is where our issue may lie at but let's kill the power here so let's get in here and get this um, if it is the thermostat i am a oem only type of guy on the thermostats i do have universal ones from ranko that i will use if i need to because this is pretty important with it being on the prep line so we're going to get them going either way the key is always which you've seen before that this is a, well, helps when those liars are hooked up. That makes a big difference. 
a humongous difference. Big, big difference. It's it's the whole idea, the big idea. Let's see if we can get us a little bit of French tickler here. tube that is our sensing tube is in the coil pretty good. I did a little crimp on both those. Those are really heavy duty crimps. I uh, prefer those over the aftermarket ones because the ones you buy in the store are nowhere near the quality that some of the Tyco and other 3M and high-end ones are. And unfortunately, very few supply houses, especially in the HVAC industry, are going to stock the high dollar stuff because most people don't care. It's all about price. If I can use their heavy duty ones, that's what I'm going to use. And default on true generally is five. So let's find out where the, yep, it's actually accurate. So let's try six. If it is prep table, which it'll probably run nonstop anyhow. Kicked on, she's a running. here and may check the pressure on the suction side. I thought something didn't feel right. We're only running about a one degree evaporator and so we're at six pounds. It's a little low most likely. Might as well just check high side because we're going to pull the refrigerant out and weigh it back in. That way we got the factory charge in there. I'm not a big believer in adding a couple ounces. Had more time wasted trying to get it right, not knowing for certain than uh, what it's worth. Definitely want to watch your fingers here and freaking chop them off. Next thing you know, they're on a pizza somewhere going out to the table. Hit for issues, not horrible. Well, we're running about 102, 103. You can hardly see the freaking glare. But we'll just say it's 75 in here, so 85, 95, 105. We're doggone close, but. Let me wipe my freaking sticker off so I have no idea how much it holds. So we're going to weigh it in from the beginning though. I guess it's probably 13 ounces to area. So we have another one right beside it. And look at that, it was 12 ounces. It's a TPP 67. TPP 57, so yeah, 12 ounces. So that's gonna get written down here so we know what it is. Because you never know, that thing may not be here the next time you come back. Yeah, it's not the greatest. Everything's been recovered, bled out, good to go. I take it down to you know a couple pounds of pressure and I stop. I don't go into a negative. I don't wanna have to screw with filter dryers and all that. So we know that it holds 12 ounces. Let's go ahead and dump 12 in. Now when I get done, I'll valve off my high side, dump it back into the low side. And you gotta remember, as dirty as that filter was, now that it's off there, that artificial head pressure that that built up was bringing up your suction pressure as well. So that's how we probably got away with it. But just in case, another reason why I'm doing it by the way means that I do it, is in case the capillary tubes are restricted. If they're restricted and you've got the correct amount in there, obviously it'll be low. If, uh, if it's low and you get the right amount in there, obviously it's just bad capillary tube. There's not a whole lot more to go wrong. So, you know, that's that's the reason why I do it. Uh, for the cost of R134, it just is not worth trying to spend ungodly amounts of time trying to get it in there because you really can't go by subcooling, superheating, all that. It just don't work. It's too small of a system. I mean, you can ballpark it in there, and yeah, you could add it three or four ounces, but I've always been one that wants to make it as perfect as possible. Some people think that's a waste of time, but that's just the way I operate. Let's see if it'll run. There it goes. I have to pull the rest of it in. Not even got it completely up and going, and they're bringing all the food already. You can see the head pressure's already up to 155. And we're just about there. over just in case and 
cellular head pressure is climbing up there to 199. Probably will stop around 210. Suction's coming down. Starting to stabilize down. We're right in there at the old uh, 20 degree of ab temperature, 18 pounds, pretty common. So we haven't dumped that other half in there yet either. It's getting colder in here. I kind of wonder if it ain't leaking in the same place the last 50 of them were. Right there on that backside corner. It's trying to see if I can find an easy way to get back in there without having to tear the whole flipping thing apart. It's such a pain in the butt. I almost thought I'd just drill a hole in the freaking panel that way you can just stick your probe in there and condemn, uh, condemn it. Yeah, the where it usually leaks is on that other side. I'm gonna say we're probably okay. It is a leak, it's a small leak, and as old as the table is, what do you expect, you know? Okay, I zeroed it out in parts per million mode to see if I get even at least one parts per million. I'm not getting anything at all in here, so I, my main thing is making it a good attempt that, you know, that it's safe enough to the point where it's not going to leak out right away. If it's uh, a really, really small one, you know, that's different than something that doesn't last a week. I think they're pretty full aware that, you know, obviously it's getting older and the time's coming when it's going to need replaced or repaired, whichever, which it looks like it's served them well so far. Let's be a good steward here and see if... Uh, this one here could use a new filter too, since it's right beside it, the same environment. a new filter on that one too it was pretty dirty yeah it's just so much oil and yeah so much flour running through this head too. i figured you know if, if worst case scenario one's better than you know i know what you're doing too because in case you need it but well you pull one off i figured that was what you were doing i went ahead and yanked them both just put the one but i, I that, that'll do that it'll look like that in two weeks i wouldn't doubt it i don't doubt it it's like you know but you got more filter media oh yeah okay yeah. good yeah, yeah. I just saw that check. I go, all right, I got the good guy. Ah, uh, you got you got the amateur man. What are you talking about? Whatever. Thank you, sir. <laughs> You're welcome. All right. Well, we're not picking up anything down here, so let's give it uh, give it an applause and tell it happy go lucky and you're happy happy. So that's gonna wrap that dog up. So. All right, guys. So basically, we got loose wires on the thermostat. The filter was dirty. The uh, coil doesn't appear to be leaking anywhere large. It's just a small leak. Uh, I've got new filters, like I said, and then uh, the system seems to be running good. We've got good pressures. Everything looks normal, no restrictions. So everything's good for, for the environment that we're in. If you enjoyed the video, make sure you hit the thumbs button. Give me a comment down below. And until next time, we'll catch you guys on the next one. And it's still working. Worked on this one, I don't know how long ago. I think it was this one. Pretty sure it was the one I worked on. Or did he buy a new one? I think he bought a new one. He bought two new ones. They both were. I think they were. No, I think these are new. He must have got rid of them. Huh. Seagate, never heard of that. Got it locked into its little airbag here. Way it doesn't go forward. Gotta keep your kids in the car seat.